Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It feels so good to be back here in New York. For those of you who don't know, I was in Seattle last week for a humongous Charlotte Tilbury extravaganza. Charlotte Tilbury herself was there and that was really awesome. I got to meet her for the third time. She remembered me this time, so it was an incredible, surreal experience and definitely a moment that I'll never forget in my life. But, um, she taught a master class. I filmed the majority of it. I'm working on editing it right now. Once I get that completed, I'll post that so you guys can watch and see and I'll get a chance to share that with you. I already um, posted the public appearance that she did at the Nordstrom downtown Seattle location. So check that out. I'll put the link for that video down in the description box down below. But let's go ahead and get into today's video. Usually I would have a Mascara Monday posted today, but since I was in Seattle last week and I was wearing nothing but legendary lashes or full fat lashes mascara. I didn't get a chance to test out a new mascara, but I do have a foundation review for you guys today. And this is the Burberry Fresh Glow Foundation, Luminous Fluid Foundation. So this is what the box looks like. I already always love Burberry packaging. And let's go ahead and take a look at the actual bottle. So this is what the bottle looks like. I am in the color number 26 beige, and there is a sunscreen in there. It's a um, SPF of 12, but it's a chemical sunscreen. So for those of you who are sensitive to chemical sunscreen, this may not be a good option for you, but it's still only a sunscreen SPF level of 12, which is like nothing. So you, I definitely recommend that you wear a another SPF of at least 35 or higher underneath. I already have my skin prepped today. So this is the bottle. I think you open it like this and then it comes in a pump. Super, super fancy, super cute. I really love the packaging on this. So let's go ahead and check this out. Oh, let me go ahead and put my hair back because I'm gonna make a mess. So, put my hair back. Let's give this a little bit of a shake. There you go. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So it's not exactly super runny, but there has does definitely have a consistency to it. So let's go ahead and apply that to my face. Get another pump. So it's supposed to give you this um, light to medium coverage, make your skin look super luminous and very light. So this is probably perfect for the summertime and it's recommended to wear this with their fresh glow. Um, kind of like, I would say like a more of like a luminous type of like primer underneath, but we're going to go ahead and not apply the primer and see how Looks. Okay, so it's super easy to apply, glides on very well. I think this is a good color for me. So it's definitely more of like a light coverage when you just put one kind of application or one layer first. Let's go ahead and apply another layer and see how it builds. I'm going to apply two pumps. So I like the way this feels so far. It feels nice and light. It looks really pretty so far. I like the that it's already kind of giving your skin like a natural looking glow. Okay, so it does, when you build upon it, it does give you more coverage. I think I'm able to get this now up to medium coverage. It glides on very smooth. Okay. So this 
foundation on first impressions is so far I like it so it does give you like a medium coverage it does make your skin look nice and luminous and bright and radiant so far so I like it it does feel very light doesn't even feel like I really have much of anything on so all right I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and be right back Hi guys, so I've had this foundation on for a few hours now. I finished my hair, I did my makeup, and I really like this foundation. I think it's really nice. It hasn't settled anywhere. It's not getting any crepey or losing its glow. It looks really nice and fresh. I think this is a really good foundation, especially if you're looking for something nice and light and glowy for the spring and summertime that is happening right now. So super pretty, I really like it. I have normal oily skin, so I haven't needed to touch it up. I don't even have any powder on right now, so I think that's a super cool. And I like that it's giving me that like really pretty glowy look without making me look shiny and it's not making my pores look bigger or my scars look any bigger and I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on my day. Excuse the mess, I'm working on rearranging this whole room and reorganizing it. You guys know how that is. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that and I'll check up, check in with you guys a little bit later and then we'll do a final check in at the end. And I'll tell you guys exactly what my final thoughts are. So see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I wanted to go ahead and do a, another check-in to let you know how this foundation is going. And then so far, I really, really, like it it's staying put it's not fading anywhere it's not settling anywhere it's not tending to make anything look more noticeable or making my pores enlarged it's keeping up with um in terms of like keeping my oils at bay there's i'm not getting oily i still haven't needed to touch up or apply any sort of powder and it's continuing to look very fresh and luminous and i feel like i have nothing on so i'm like super happy with that so, so far so good. I'm still working on getting this room rearranged. I'm like maybe 75% done. I still got some work left to do. So I'll take care of some things and go ahead and do a final check-in with you guys in a little bit. See you soon. All right guys, so I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my final check-in and final thoughts on this foundation. But before I do that, I wanted to go ahead and read to you what it said on the Nordstrom website about this particular foundation. It says the lightweight, Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Foundation creates a flawless, dewy glow with buildable medium coverage. So I agree with that. It does give you this like glowy, dewy look and you can build it up to a medium coverage, but with time, I think it becomes a little bit more um, lighter coverage. Um, mirror Flat Reflection Pearls instantly enhance luminosity. Agree with that. Provides an effortless glow. Agree with that while true color pigments deliver a satin veil with a natural looking finish. I also think that I agree with that as well. I mean, it looks like it's just my skin, but better, which is exactly what you're looking for in a foundation, especially around this time when it's the spring, summer months and you wanna make your skin look like it's your skin. You don't want your foundation to look too heavy or cakey or you don't even want it to really look like you're wearing any sort of foundation. You want it to look like you just have really beautiful skin. The foundation moisturizes your skin and features a SPF 15 to protect, uh, protect against the damaging effects of UVA and UVB. 15 is nothing. You're going to have to wear a um, broad spectrum SPF underneath. 35 and above is the way to go. It also contains the brand's signature English blend of rosehip tea and lavender. Okay, so there are added fragrances or added oils to this. So if you're allergic to rosehip tea or lavender, definitely stay away from this particular foundation or even if you are sensitive to added fragrances or added oils into a foundations, this may be something that you wanna steer clear of. Another thing that I thought was really cool was it's the winner of InStyles Magazine's Best Beauty Award, Best Beauty Buy Award for Best Foundation for Medium to Dark Skin Tones, shade Dark Sable number 36 and that was in 2016, so this year. So overall, absolutely, adore this foundation. I think it's great. It gives you really nice light 
medium coverage, but on me it looks more, I think, of a lighter coverage. It didn't sink in anywhere, it didn't enhance anything. It keeps your skin looking nice and fresh, so you, you don't get this like super shiny effect. It doesn't settle anywhere. It does look like you have very pretty radiant skin so i like it it's light it's fresh it's luminous it's exactly the kind of thing that i'm looking for at this time around so i absolutely like it i think that you should go ahead and go check it out if you are not sure about purchasing the full size product i know you can get it at sephora so i would go to your local sephora get the ask them to give you a sample try it out and see what you think and yeah, I mean, I have normal to oily skin and my skin looks great. I've had this on now for eight hours, so I'm very happy with it. And I think it looks beautiful. It's a very beautiful foundation and it just completely looks like this is just my skin but better, which is exactly the look that I'm going for. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any other suggestions, like I know I have a few um, subscribers who have made some suggestions on videos that I should be filming, so that's going to be coming up real soon. I'm going to be doing the Color Chameleons uh, um, video. I'm also going to be doing on how I apply my Velcro rollers to get big, glamorous, voluminous hair. I'm also going to do a, another video where it's going to be about um, more like up on tips of how to apply different types of foundation in terms of um, application tips like what brushes you can use or if you use a beauty blender versus when to use your fingers it's just more of like an informational video so I have a lot of things coming your way so stay tuned and I will see you guys very soon thanks bye